All right, hey, hey, VC Jeff here. Time for another contest entry. Lots of contests going on. Hard to keep up, but fun to keep up because it gives you a chance to really take a look at your collection and, and, and think about things that you get to show that maybe you haven't shown in a while because the contest is dragging them back out. So I like a contest as an, in, an idea that allows me to go back and revisit and look at albums that, like I say, maybe haven't been shown in a while and just to do something other than the typical, hey, look what I got in the mail. Anyway, this one's for Slambo's Car of Idiots. He just hit 100 subscribers, and he has a contest going on for a gift card from Amazon. Very simple. There's two ways to enter. You can enter both ways to get two entries, or you can just enter one or the other. Either way is fine. Um, first one is to show a band name that is an artist and the, uh, you know, type thing. I won't give any examples because there are lots of them. So you've got the, the main artist and then, like, a band name. So... And then the second way is to either show a band that is named after a song or album from another band or a band that is a name parody of another band. Um, so anyway, I looked through real quick and, and decided I'm, I'm, you know, going this particular route and, you know, want to do this real quick. So let's jump into it. So uh, band and a na artist name and band Huey Lewis and the News. There you go, easy peasy. Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band. Get the gist, get the gist here. Here's one that nobody's gonna really hardly gonna know. Steve Taylor and some band. Now the reason he's named that is because, you know, band personnel change periodically and so anyway, this is a live album and he was playing with some band. But if you don't like that one, if that one's a little too, uh, you know, off the wall for you. How about Ricky, Rick Medlock and Blackfoot? Hmm. Blackfoot's the name of the band. What is this? My understanding is it's a Rick Medlock solo album that they decided to slap the name Blackfoot on. So is it really Rick Medlock and Blackfoot? Hmm. Okay, maybe you don't like that one. Let's go with an old classic one. <laughs> Herb Alfred and the Tijuana Brass. Come on. And look, it's even a Herb Alfred album that you don't always see as much. I could have showed whipped cream, but I'm not going to. But again, if you're sick of that, I got one more. This actually is one that I showed in a recent video. Ronnie James Dio and the Prophets. Now, uh, you know, I will admit the actual name of this recording was Dio and the Prophets. But anyway, good enough, close enough. Second up, we're going to go with a band that took its name from a song from another band. And I've got two. He only wanted one, but I've got two just in case. You know, Deep Purple, who do we think we are? Well, we think we are a band that's named after a popular song from the 60s called Deep Purple. Now, I was surprised. I didn't realize, I mean, I, I knew there was a connection, but I didn't realize that the song itself dates back into the 30s. It was a piano song. It later added lyrics to it. It kind of morphed over the, over the decades from the 30s into the 60s, and then it became a pop song in the 60s, most popular by Nino tempo and april stevens and i've actually seen that album out and about or i've seen it in people's collections so um it you know it was a pretty famous song it made it into the uh pop charts at the time in the u.s and everything so and anyway that is apparently where deep purple the band later in the 60s took their name from so I, honestly i don't know if i was even aware of the history of that song but i wanted to go ahead and go ahead and show another one and i was surprised so <laughs> well first off i'll show it exciter canadian thrash band uh apparently took their band name from a judas priest song called exciter and then i was surprised to find out that there are quite a few bands that have taken their name from judas priest songs rage uh center um i think there was another but anyway interesting enough anyway exciter one of my favorite thrash bands from the early days and uh yeah great stuff took their name from a judas priest song Anyway, hopefully that's enough to get both entries. That's all for now. Make sure you check out his channel. The link is below. Contest is going to be ending in June and in the middle of June. So, you know, jump on board and uh, let's get these, uh, by the time the contest is over, let's get him up to 200 subscribers. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I will be back. Rock on and rock hard.